Hello, Karen again with another image from Loss and Beauty. This image taught me that preconceived ideas are really dangerous things. Toward the end of the five years of working on Loss and Beauty, I decided to composite two images together that were of a different scale. What I mean by that is that the chair and the pocketbook in this image are rather life-size, human-size, but they're overlaid with a landscape that seems far off. It was the first time that I had done that in this project, and I wasn't sure that it would work. Well, I think it works very well. Having done the image and, and created the composite and being finished with it, I thought, oh my, perhaps now I'm just beginning to understand how to create the images for the project itself. And I nearly scrubbed all the work from before and started again. In the end, I decided against it, and I'm glad that I did. Aside from understanding that preconceived ideas are dangerous things, what I take away from this image is the interplay and the intricacy of interlocking shapes. When I look at this image, I see a series of nearly endless trapezoids. When I was making the image of the chair and the purse, I was vaguely aware of it, but as I composited the images and placed the guard tower in the seat, I began to look more deeply into this image, how the light, the corner of the wall created the trapezoid, how the bottom of the chair created the trapezoid in the shadow on the floor, and then again the shadow from the purse on the wall. It's a happy accident, perhaps, but geometry does inform the best of our photographs, and I was happy to see all the shapes rise up in this image. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to talking about another image of loss and beauty with you.